<laughs> Your loft thing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been to this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. And by fly, I mean derpitually turn around and go that way. Oh god, it's you! No. Well, well, if it isn't Link. I forgot the voice I gave him. It's been a while since I recorded the third episode. What around the pauses, you found that dumb bird of yours? Well, that was just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they have delayed it for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets the special treatment? <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't just seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what, you, what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And I don't think we... We've noticed smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh! You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Well, I use suave products, thank you very much, sir. Goose has been going on forever about how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour and ruffle about her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, voicing those two is gonna be so fun. I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony. I'm going to be the one to claim that sailcloth. Oh yeah, that's a surprise, by the way. <coughs> Sorry. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I going to let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth, Zelda sailcloth, will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yeah, if I can see it now, first I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can, I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes! 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 Behind you! Right behind you! I forgot the voice I gave him, I'm sorry. What? I love the dance the little guys, the other guy's doing. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was weird. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> I, uh, nothing big, really. Just, just, Link, yeah, I just tell my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyway, uh, later, Zelda, look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Freak, yeah. I love how awkwardly everyone run walks during these cutscenes, like, seriously. He goes right up! Do you hear that guy? Fair race, yeah, the chances of that happening are just less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you got these guys beat, and deep down I think you do too. Yeah! Okay, that's the spirit, Link. Trust me, you can win this. Hey! The ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. The students, assemble! Can someone, like, take a picture of the Avengers and, like, put Link, Groose, Colin, and Stritch's head on them? That's the names, by the way, Colin and Stritch. Yeah. Why can't we get birds pooping out colored smoke at Super Bowls? I don't know. Hey! Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Link, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you all could make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules of today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this... I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced, statuette... To this bird, who will then release to the skies. On my signal, press A to dash and dive off the ledge. Once you want the air, mount your lot wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with down once you dive off the ledge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette with A will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think, but do you hear them again? No! <laughs> Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will... Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of, play the, role of the goddess in this year's witch rule. Oh, what's um, this episode's going on? Today is a special day of many reasons, but it's also the 25th anniversary of See What You Did, Nintendo. Anyway, to celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift atop, high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... <laughs> the lovely Zelda! <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering will 
with other <laughs> writers will answer to me. Now I want you to listen to this voice clip. Cool. That goes double for you, gross! I also love his reaction. Hey. Alright, gentlemen, line up at my command. The competition will begin. Okay, I mentioned there are some good songs I like. This song that's about to play is one of them. Anyway, hey. go! I don't know what it is. I think it's the fact that it's an accordion and it reminds me a lot of Professor Layton, but I don't know. Anyway, I remember me and my sister when we first played this game. Um, it was at a demo, demo and we didn't understand the whole dashing mechanic because at the time we've only played Twilight Princess. So we were really confused. We we're like, what the heck do we do? We we're like talking to the people. Like, what do I do? But anyway, what you want to do, it's kind of easy. All you have to do is just fly above and then dive down. And when you get close enough, just press A. Pretty simple. Hey, don't don't you know that this is my day to get off the glory? Oh, it's, I can't talk. What the heck? Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with egg in your face. Uh, number, um, you guys probably saw from the first episode, one of the files was called Phil. I was playing with my friend, who had played this game for the first time. He made his own file. And when he was playing, he got up to this part, and he was playing this game. This part, sorry, I don't know. And he was looking at the eggs, and he's like, where did all these eggs come from? Is your bird pregnant? I don't think she'd be flying through these conditions. It was funny. Anyway, you got the bird statue. It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees it. Sees this, I'm sorry. Oh, this episode's gonna be long, I know it. Link! What? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was fine! We gotta catch her! Oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh! Okay, let's put- Oh, never mind, we're alive. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Great, finally. Congratulations. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have that right now, but you know. Now we better get on with the ceremony. Yeah! Link, hand me that bird statue you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. Okay, you know, seems legit. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy, mercy as I act in your steed during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory in the celebration of the bird folk, in accord oh my gosh, in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessing of the goddess upon you. The blessing of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft to sail, which I now pass on to you. You got the thing! You got the sailcloth! Now you can jump from any height without the fear of a painful landing. And this next line is probably the best line in the game. It smells like nice too. <sighs> Lane, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making this sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Link. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? <laughs> Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised, Link. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> now, we really should finish up this ritual. You do know what happens at the end, right? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, oh, oh my gosh. Nope. I don't. Really? Huh. I thought you could have figured it out by now. <laughs> Zelda and Link is my OTP, by the way. <laughs> you have to jump off the statue. What? 
Look down. See that big round design th on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right up into the center of it. Leap off the edge here. Right before you hit the ground, press B to open up your silk cloth. Just how brave are you? If you really were fearless, you wait till the last second to use this hail off. So, ready to jump? I remember the first time I played this, I had really hard trouble with this. I had like to do a bunch of tries for this. So my suggestion is hold the Wiimote steady, like during this cutscene. Try not to move Link at all, or you're probably going to be screwed. Just hold it, move if you have to, and then hold down B. There you go. <laughs> that was perfect! You're amazing, Link! Yeah, I know. Sing is how you won today. And with the weather being so nice. She wants me. You think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Link? Hey, Link! <laughs> Today was amazing, watching you win the race and performing the witch roll together. I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm Link. <laughs> you know, Link... There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. <laughs> oh no, SpaghettiOs. I'm sorry, what is that? Oh, it's, oh, oh dear. Oh, oh no, oh. We should, we should probably fly away from this, you know, not fly, okay. Do what you gotta do, Zelda. What's going on? I don't know, Zelda, you're the one that's, okay. Oh, oh dear. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Mother, think. Hello, I'm waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fatal to mission of great importance. Mother. Link. <laughs> ah, you're awake. When your laughter wind carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. <laughs> but Link, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Well, you see, something about mushrooms and a tornado? She kept flying to it, even though I yelled at her not to. Something about a bird in your window. A black tornado, you say? It was more brown, but you know, whatever. Wait a minute. I must still wear my shoes. I gotta check. You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Okay, well, I told her about the mushrooms, right? Yeah, there was that. Then she tried to kill me by pushing me off a statue. You know, just, just the usual Zelda stuff. I see, she was talking about the surface then? Okay, you completely ignored me, but you know. And you've been having dreams about a great mis 
great mission. How interesting. I never said anything about that, you liar. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda. But so long as she's with her Lofton, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak has yet to arrive. It'd be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of light. Night, sorry. It would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Link. Zelda's gonna be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. <laughs>